Hi guys, this is a review of the AOC U3477PQU 34 inch 21 to 9 aspect ratio ultra wide monitor. Uh, I'm just showing you the box first. It's a pretty big ass box, but it's packaged really well. I bought it from a shop in the UK which had a perfect pixel guarantee. So, you know, to avoid having any dark or stuck pixels. Um, some monitors are really bad for it, so I paid extra to have this guarantee. And I'm pretty happy. Um, so, moving on to the main monitor itself. Oh, I suppose I should add that when you um, unpack it, it can be a bit stiff to get it out of the box because everything is so big. But um, once you get a styrofoam out, it's plain sailing from there. So on to the main monitor itself. Da, 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 as you can see. Okay, I've got it actually in a triple monitor setup. Um, the monitor to the left hand side and to the right hand side are both AOC as well. Um, so I like the brand, they are super reliable and really good quality. So as you can see, oh dear. Uh, the windows, you know, they were like a mess everywhere. So with a monitor as big as this, what you really need is some kind of control program um, to make sure the windows are distributed nicely. So I use a program called Max2, and which you can see here. Where's the mouse? Okay, there's a really cool function. It's called fit all windows and if you watch this woo, it all just snaps into place exactly how I've specified it to now this won't work with all um, programs notably it will not work with Adobe Acrobat uh, because I think some kind of, I think I think it's something to do with sick being 64 bit I'm not sure Okay, so this is the control program, Max 2. As you can see, I've set it um, to manage my monitors. You know, I've split the middle one into six separate regions. And go for this. You I mean you can do things like split it vertically, so you can make this split again, or you can make it split horizontally. Um, because of the wide resolution on this thing, it's so useful. Like you could have like a row of eight little windows just on the center monitor alone, and because the resolution, the amount of information is displayed, makes it really usable. So multitasking um, on this monitor, even by itself, if you get a good um, Windows management program like what I've got here, then everything is just a breeze, and it's such a pleasure to work with because you know you have all this information on screen, you don't have to flick, you don't have to alt tab back between different windows and it's just great. Some other things I should mention about the build quality itself. Um, the whole thing is made out of sort of brushed metal kind of look, brushed metal plastic. The monitor is slightly wobbly. Uh, my hand is shaking, that's probably why you can't see it so well. But it's not the most stable monitor ever, but it's perfectly safe. Now this thing, believe it or not, it can um, swivel into portrait mode. But you know, there's really no need to do with a monitor this wide. And as you can see, because it was designed for a portrait mode, the clearance of the desktop is just insane. I mean, these speakers are about 25 centimeters tall, and it'll go up to nearly 30 centimeters so the clearance is really good because you know I'm a fairly tall guy and the height of it means I don't have to strain my neck too much okay so as you can see I've got my uh, wallpapers on the slideshow these are all sort of naturey pictures taken at native well the all native 3440 by 1440 resolution and they look fantastic Okay, so if you are considering buying this monitor, then you either have 
uh, professional needs, or you like gaming, or you like, or you're a film buff, or you just want a big ass screen. Either way, if you're gonna spend like five hundred pounds or eight hundred and fifty dollars on a monitor, you should really think about getting the color calibrated. Now, just so that you you're aware of, um, its default colors. As you can see, I've turned the brightness down quite a bit. Haven't seen anything to do with the contrast. Da, da, da. As you can see, right, I've barely changed the color balancing. I mean, default, I mean, its default factory setting is really good. Um, most people probably don't need to change anything at all except to just turn the brightness down. But I'm some, but I, I'm a bit OCD and I tend to um, calibrate it, even though I don't really need it. So I use the uh, a program called Colorize Display Pro is really good because you know it allows you to um, calibrate uh, multiple monitors and lo and loads individual profiles for each one. I've used a Spider 3 Pro display calibration. I mean, this is not the most expensive colorometer out there. There are more expensive ones, but I don't need them. Basically, I've this. I've calibrated this display to 6500K temperature, 120 candelas, um, 2.2 gamma, and with a color accuracy of less than one delta E, so it's like super accurate. Now, I think a lot of you will want to use this for gaming, and um, I'm not going to load one up now because... Um, I don't really have like a, prop a really nice looking game installed on my PC at the minute. Um, to run to to run this monitor at its full resolution in a game, you probably need a video card at least two hundred dollars. I mean, personally, I have a uh, AMD R9 290, so it's pretty capable of pushing that resolution. But I guess if I wanted sixty frames per second, I would need the R9 290 in Crossfire for the new games. Um, similarly, because I don't really play that many games of shooters, I'm not really able to comment on the ghosting or response times and things like that because I don't really care, and I'm not like a gaming pro. But I mean, for films watching, this thing is just insane. I mean, the field of vision it takes up is awesome. I mean, it's like being at the cinema. I sit like a meter away from it. And you know, there's, there's like recommended viewing angles, how much um, how much space it should take up out of your field of vision. And I can say it's just awesome sitting like a meter away from it. Having no black bars top and bottom is just such a revelation. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you a clip. This is Interstellar. Uh, it's sh this is the 4K trailer, so it's going to be native resolution. Oh, because this is an IPS panel, um, it has some glow issues. I mean, this is an inherent flaw of the technology itself. Um, so if it's in a dark room, I mean, obviously plasma is the best thing or in a dark room or a projector. But if you had to watch dark films in the dark, I would suggest you use a bias lighting or just a warm but dim um, light bulb. Um, it'll take the harshness of the IPS glow off. And also, uh, oh, before I play the trailer, this panel is used by LG. It's, this, it's actually made by LG in their own um, panel. Uh, it's used by LG in their own models. Um, what AOC has done is to strip out the more expensive connections like Thunderbolt. I mean, who uses those, right? If, if you're not a Mac guy. Um, so the quality. So the build quality is really good, uniformity is good, color is good, etc, etc. Frankly, this is a bit underrated. Um, I don't, I mean, I think more people should buy AOC. It's, it's such a reliable brand, good quality, and always at a slightly cheaper price. Okay, this is the screen, like, completely dark. As you can see, there is some minor glow. I mean, uh, this is backlight bleed. But, if I just take the cursor off... I don't think it's, it's all that serious. You are really not going to notice this with a naked eye. And personally, I am more than happy 
um, with this level of backlight bleed. Um, I mean, if you look at it, well, um, it's perfectly acceptable. So, I've uh, turned down the lights. Like I said, if I, this is the trailer for Interstellar. Lake Coop. Now we have flat. It's an Indian surveillance drone. Solar sails from our entire farm. What'd you do, Murph? Uh, she didn't do nothing. Murphy's law. You're a well-educated man, Coop. And a trained pilot. And an engineer. The world doesn't need any more engineers. So, I like to uh, watch the film with a little bit of lighting when I'm watching it on monitors. So if I switch on a wall light, I mean personally, for me in the room, I think it takes the uh, glow out, out of the equation in a dark room. So we didn't run out of planes and television sets. We ran out of food. Dad, why did you need me after something that's bad? No, we didn't. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. It means that whatever can happen will happen. We must confront the reality. You can just like skip a minute and a half ahead if you like. Can help us. Now you need to tell me what you plan is to save the world. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. And this is the mission we were trained for. I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Okay, so there you have it. I mean, the bottom line is, this is a super monitor uh, with high quality at a fairly affordable price. Okay, so £500 or $850. Well, it's affordable if you have the money for it. Um, but what I'm telling you is, it's really good value for money. The same £500, you know, it's not going to buy you something as it's not going to buy you another 34 inch monitor as good as this. I mean, this is the cheapest out there um, as far as 34 inch 1440p monitors go. And I have to say, it's such an underdog, but it performs so well. Um, buy this if you like watching films without black bars. Buy it if you're like a power user like me. Buy it if you want a really immersive gaming experience. You know, you can see more stuff. Um, some cons of this, I guess. Well, to be honest, some people would say that at 34 inches, you need a curved screen. But personally, I haven't found that to be an issue at all. Um, this, I mean, it's just really fantastic. It might take some time to get used to it, but once you get used to it, I don't think you, you will go back. Um, if you haven't got a good graphics card, I suggest you get one um, because it's so important to have DisplayPort 1.2. If your video card does not have that, then you're then you're restricted to 30 hertz at 1440p resolution. And believe me, you want 60 hertz for everything, really. Okay, so I would definitely recommend buying this. 
Um, thank you for watching, signing off.